for the last part. So far we have something like this. We still need to add at the bottom um, the button. As you can see in the design, it has a button at the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and do button. We're going to add inside the content. Send my postcard. And then we're going to build it just to see how it looks. There it is, our button, and we have to center this button. So how do we do that? We normally center stuff by putting margin auto. So let's try that. Margin auto. Not working. Let's see why. Margin auto. Postcard footer. We can also, we can apply margin button to the button or text align center to the entire footer. Because the entire content of the footer we want in the middle. So text align center. Yeah, that worked. But I want to see what was that the exercise told us to do. Ah, yeah. Text align center to the footer. Okay. So let's do that. Well, let's go to the footer. If there's no selector, we can just create it. Postcard footer and then we make it takes a line center and then what else upload apply also a darker background to the button okay a darker background you're right so for that we can do just button and then background color we can pick one and then we can use the text editor, the, the text editor to to help us out with the color Look, we just click here and start looking for colors. I guess this one's good for E for E for E. Let's see how it looks. It's a lot darker, you can see. So I think I I went too far. It's less. Let's say like that, maybe. Yeah. Well, I feel that it's even less dark than this. It's like this, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Okay. And then a padding. Yeah, a padding because as you can see here, the button is it's very small by nature. If you want to make it bigger, one of the tricks is just applying a padding to the button of 10 pixels, for example. And you see how that big it is now? Normally, actually, I like to pay to apply a padding on the top and the bottom smaller than on the sides. If you put two different measurements, like 5 and 10, it's going to apply top and bottom 5 and left and right 10. That's normally what I do, because that looks more like a button. A button normally has more padding on the on the sides. So there it is, padding. Apply also that. Lastly, apply a padding to the button. Okay. Um, I'm guessing I'm okay here. Yes, I am. So we can just go next. Well, that's the last step, and we are not done, right? So maybe you're thinking right now, but hey wait we're not done well yes you're right we're not but you can do the rest on your own because the rest will be just fixing little things like for example how do we make the postcard a little bit because the postcard is not centered vertically right so we can either make the image smaller or the postcard or the or the postcard move it down one thing we could do is that we could apply to the h1 of the postcard we could apply a padding top of five pixels and it's moving down you see moving down moving up so that's good we can do that we can also apply a padding to the entire header to this entire heading header we can say padding let's say 10 pixels there you go that way it's not close to the edge um, let me remove the dash it so that we can see it better. This is what we have right now. And we were told to do something like, I don't remember. Ah, here it is. Open your new tab. So this is what we wanted. This is what we have right now. The font. Dealing with fonts, it's a different beast, right? If you want to change the font, you can just go to Google Fonts. Just put in Google, Google Fonts, Google, Google.com. And then in Google, we're going to put here Google Fonts. 
then we click here and it's going to take us to a website where we can pick whatever font we want. Let's say something like Noto Sans, for example. Or let me pick a different one that looks a lot more different. That way we will make sure that we're applying it. Because sometimes I don't even distinguish them when I apply them. So let's say that I like this one. So no, I don't want to download the family. I, I click in the wrong button. My bad. Oh, there it is. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to select this style and then it's going to show me a link tag that I can copy that link tag here and I can put it in my HTML like this. I just paste it there before my own link tag. Here's where we had our link tag from before. Now we have this one. And the second step will be to apply this to a CSS, this rule. So for example, I could grab all my font from my entire website, so all the body. I could make it font family open source condensed. And if if I build again, you'll see how now the font is different. Actually, you can see it being applied. Look, if I refresh, well, not anymore. Yeah, there it is. You see how it's bigger first? It blinks. Just applying the font. So that's another thing, the font. And let's remove again the the dash it here. There it is. That's how it's looking right now. Well, everything we did, we lost it because we were doing it here in these styles and not in the actual document. So I'm going to do it again, right? I remember that we apply a padding top to the H1. So padding top, let's make it 10 pixels. I also remember that to the header, we added a padding of 10 pixels and the last thing we did was uh, remove the this dash it thing there and then let's build this is how it's looking right now very 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 more similar to the desired result here's the res desired result here's what we have well you can see the the, the black border into the button maybe you want to remove that so you come here and border let's say known just to see how it looks yeah without a border yeah so that's it man you you can you can keep playing around and and whatever you want to make it pixel perfect but this is a general concept uh padding margin display flex hope you guys enjoy it and see you in the next tutorial or exercise bye bye